Here's another tricky question to solve in JavaScript. So this is an entire object within this object there are different properties and here is where the object ends and we are trying to console log for different scenarios. So I'll attach the question link in the description below. You can have a look at the question and try to solve this. So before I explain you the output and what's happening behind the scenes, I suggest you to pause the video once and try out this question by yourself. And, and if you're done doing that, then I'm just going to run the code once now. And there you go. This is the output for each and every console log that you see over here. Now, if you got this output, then that's well and fine. You can skip the video. You don't need to watch any further. But if you did not get this output, then I'm going to walk through this code line by line and I'll help you understand what's happening behind the scenes. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now you can see this board over here. This board has the console log and the object with each property within it. Um, I have segregated this like this so that you can see things properly because over here I would have to scroll down uh, for each and every line. So instead, I've just compiled this into one and now I'll explain you what's happening line by line. So first of all, let's let me just uh, write down over here. Output. This is where I'll write down all the outputs. So first of all, we are doing console.log object.a and we are directly invoking a. So since we're doing object.a, let's go to object.a. A is nothing but this. Let me also just change the color of this to red. All right. So now a is this. So when we add parentheses over here, that means we are invoking that uh, property, right? So we are doing object dot a. We are calling the function a. Now a returns this dot dev. Dev is BFE, and this will obviously refer to this object because we are invoking the function with reference to the object, right? So the function a is attached to this object. So this always takes the value to which this function is attached to. And since a is attached to this object, so this is going to be nothing but this object itself. So when we do this dot dev, it's same, it's same as saying object dot dev, and object dot dev is nothing but BFE. So the first console log is going to give us BFE. All right. Now the second one, we are doing object dot b, and here we are doing the same thing. This is also a function. In the latest updates of JavaScript, we can also declare a function like this within an object. We do not have to write a and then colon and function. Instead, we can also write a and directly declare it as a function without writing the function keyword. So this b that you see over here is same as writing it as something like this function and then the curly brackets similar to how a has been written all right so we can also declare a function like this within an object so when we do return this dot dev over here this is again attached to the object so object dot dev is going to, going to give us bfe again so the next output is also going to be bfe all right then the next one is console.log object dot c so obj.c now this is where it becomes tricky so if you notice the c is an arrow function now one important thing to remember is if within an object you are declaring a property which is an arrow function and if you're utilizing this within it then this is not going to refer to that object all right so if you have a normal function which is not arrow function like a and b then in that case this is going to refer to that object if you're invoking that function by attaching it with the object like how it's done here for obj.a and obj.b but what but what's confusing is when you use arrow functions and you invoke it in the same way by saying object.c that this within that arrow function isn't going to point to that object itself even though it is attached to it so this over here is always going to refer to the window object all right so this within an arrow function always refers to a window object unless and until that arrow function is present within a normal function all right so if this arrow function if this entire arrow function was within a normal function so let's say this is a, this a is a normal function right so if this arrow function was within this function then the this within the arrow function would have taken the value of this from its parent function so in that case the this would have referred to dev and and you will see an example of that as we go down further but here since this is directly declared as an arrow function and, and it's not within any normal function so this is always going to point to the window object and since the window does not have the dot dev property so it's going to end up returning undefined so it's going to basically say window dot dev and window dot dev is nothing but undefined so this is going to say undefined now next we are doing object dot d now over here in d we are returning an arrow function as you can see and this arrow function is an immediately invoked function so basically what it means is it's immediately getting invoked right after it's been created so you can see the arrow function is being created over here and then it's getting invoked right over here directly 
invoking this like this just allows the arrow function to not be assigned a name this is the same as writing return and a function name and then just invoking that function down somewhere below all right so just to help you understand things better about how this works what i'll do is i'll go to my code so over here for d this is an immediately invoked uh, function now what i mean is this writing this like this is the same as writing it like this uh let's say const test we get an arrow function and then over here let's say i'll return this dot dev similar to how it's returned over here and i will return test and i'll add the parenthesis over here so now this over here is the same as writing this except that uh, over here you have the name of the function and all that but in immediately invoke functions you don't need to add the name and const and all of that stuff because you're directly invoking it right after declaring the function so but this is the same as this this is also an arrow function and this is also an arrow function and just to show you that these two are the same notice uh, over here for this immediately invoked function the output uh, in the fourth line was bfe now if i run this if i run this it's again going to show bfe for this uh, piece of code so i'll just run this once you can see for the fourth line it's still bfe that's because these two are exactly the same except that uh, this is an immediately invoke function and this is not so what i mean by exactly same is that when you add an arrow function within a function the this value within the arrow function is preserved so over here when we were doing it for c you notice that it showed undefined right because if you directly just call an arrow function if you directly have a property initialized as an arrow function and you call it uh, if you do like when you did object.c then this is going to hold the reference to the window object but when an arrow function is declared within a normal function the arrow function takes the this keyword reference from its parent so since the parent is a normal function and the function does hold a reference to the this keyword within an object so this within the arrow also holds that same reference and it also ends up pointing to this object itself so this is one important thing to remember for you guys that an arrow function if present within a normal function then then it takes the reference of the this from the normal function otherwise when it's declared like this it takes the reference of this as the window object and so that's why this over here ended up returning bfe as well instead of undefined so this was a trick question just to confuse you guys but i hope if you did not know about this concept you know about it now i'll just uncomment this all right now moving on to the next part so d also uh, returns bfe right so let me just write that down over here b f e so this is done a b c and d are done now let's go to e now e is nothing but uh, a function and it returns whatever this dot b returns all right so we are invoking e e gets called and it returns whatever this dot b calls so this is pretty simple right this dot b is being invoked over here as you can see it's being called so when we call this dot b b returns this dot dev and this dot dev is nothing but bfe so this dot b when invoked returns nothing but bfe and since we are returning bfe again so this entire object dot e is going to return bfe so this will also be bfe because we are invoking this dot b directly so when we invoke this dot b this is obviously going to refer to the object because it's within this function and we are calling b directly over here when we call something like this it returns whatever is there within that function so it so this is the same as saying return object dot b now object dot b is nothing but it returns this dot dev which is bfe so this ultimately ends up returning bfe as well so e also returns bfe this is also done now it's going to be a little tricky now for f for f you can see the in the console log we are invoking it twice now this is important the fact that we are invoking it twice so what's happening here is when we invoke it the first time you can see the first parenthesis when we invoke, invoke it the first time what happens is you go to f we return this dot b notice this in e we were calling this dot b directly and when we, when we call a function like this it directly returns us whatever is there within it so it returned us this dot def which was bfe but in this case we are not returning anything we are just within f we are returning another function which is nothing but the reference of the function b all right so when object dot f is called with this first parenthesis we are only returning a reference to this dot b so the first parenthesis basically i'll just write this here the first parenthesis returns nothing but 
be the function b itself all right now the important thing to notice over here is object dot f along with the first parenthesis returned us nothing but a reference function b all right but as you can see over here object dot f has already returned b after this line was executed we have this over here now after this we again have another parenthesis and since the first object.f already returned us a function and then we are again invoking it but if you notice we are invoking it in the console log itself right so when b got returned from the first invocation so when b got invoked as a function reference from the first invocation in the second invocation we are just calling b outside the object right b is no more within the object so it's the same as saying that we are just invoking b over here like this outside the object right so to help you understand this better it's the same as saying right over here it's the same as saying b right so this one this part returned us the function b and then we are invoking it so it's the same as calling b over here but we are calling it globally and not within this object right because it's in this console log which is outside that object when we invoke it the next time the reference has already been given and we are invoking the return function from the first parenthesis which is outside of the object and since it's outside of the object so there is no reference to this obj object anymore and that's why when this second invocation happens since we are invoking it over here within this console log which is outside of the window object and this object.f has already been uh, utilized returned and it's no more being used and the second invocation is happening in the window object so within b when we do this dot def this is going to refer to the window object because we are calling it outside of the object outside of the obj object and it's in the window object now so this is obviously going to refer to that uh, window object and because of that we will be getting undefined return over here all right now this was a trick question but it's important for you to understand that this was just returning a reference and then when we invoke it again since it's being invoked outside the obj object and it's not attached to the obj object as well since we are just invoking that function reference in within the window scope so this points to that window object and window.dev is nothing but undefined so we get undefined over here simple now this is done now we go to g uh, so object.g now object.g is also going to be simple because within this we are returning whatever this.c returns so this.c over here is directly invoking this function right here it's basically trying to return whatever is there within the content of this now you might say this is within the function so when we call this.c the this over here should be the obj object and we should get bfa returned but no we are going to get undefined return and that's pretty obvious right because here this is just an invocation we are returning whatever this dot c returns and c is an arrow function as we had done for c over here it had returned undefined right so we know that this dot c is going to return undefined and even if you argue that as you had said before if it's within a normal function it should take the this value as the obj no but that's not what's supposed to happen in this case because here we are just invoking it we haven't created the function within the normal function had we created this function this arrow function c within this normal g function and then invoke this dot c then the this would have taken the value of the obj so if the c arrow function was created within this g normal function then had we invoked this dot c the this would have referred to the obj but since over here we are just invoking directly the function c so this is just supposed to return us whatever is there within the contents of c and since we are not creating the function c within the normal function context so that this within the arrow function c is going to refer to the window itself it matters where we are creating the arrow function we are not creating the arrow function within the g so, so this dot c is going to return undefined and since this is going to this part is going to be undefined so ultimately g itself is going to be returning undefined is this is going to become return undefined so this over here for g will also be undefined all right this is done now let's move on to h now h over here is being invoked twice now it's the same as uh, object.f for h we are again returning a reference to this dot c so this dot c is nothing but an arrow function so the reference to this dot c gets returned over here so after the first obj.h call we are getting nothing but a reference to the function c so similarly how it happened for f after the first invocation of h we get a reference to the arrow function c but now since we are invoking it again 
in during the second invocation it is not attached to that object the second invocation is saying nothing but c and then we are invoking that so this first invocation returned us c so the first invocation returned us c and then in the second invocation we are just calling c okay so first invocation returned c second invocation is calling c that's all this is the first invocation this is the second invocation and since during the second invocation we are just calling c and it's not assigned to any obj so it's invoked again and when it's invoked the second time it's just a normal function which is present within the context of the window object so the this within the c is going to refer to the window object so ultimately after the second invocation we are just going to run this dot dev and this as i said is going to be the window object and therefore we are going to get undefined returned as well all right so for this as well we get undefined now for the last one which is object i and it's also invoked twice this is also a trick question so what's happening here is let's go one by one i call object dot i i go over here object dot i the first invocation returns us an arrow function all right so we are getting an arrow function returned over here now you might get confused with what's about to happen but don't worry i'll explain you the reason behind it so here we are getting an arrow function returned and when we invoke it the second time only the arrow function is going to be executed right because after the first invocation we got the arrow function returned then the second invocation we are just executing the internal arrow function and when the second internal function runs this dot dev is going to run and this is going to refer to the obj and that is going to give us nothing but bfe because this dot dev is nothing but bfe now you might ask that since we are invoking it again and it's outside and it's within the window object how did the this refer to the bfe within the obj now this is what i had told you before when we were solving for function bf and all that so if you remember i had told that if the function is created within that function itself then it's going to take the reference from its above uh, context so what that means is over here as you could see when we were just returning a function reference to this dot c or we were calling this dot c in all these cases we weren't creating the function within that function within the normal function we were just returning a reference or just invoking whatever the function returned but for i you can see that this arrow function is created within this function itself and as i had said arrow functions if declared within a normal function then it takes the reference of this from the parent function from the parent normal function and since here we are not directly just returning a reference to a function or just invoking a function but we are actually creating that function entirely within that normal function and then returning a value within it so when we invoke it the next time even though we are invoking it outside and it's not attached to that object to, to obj that this is still going to refer to uh, dev because of closures because even though this is fully independent in the next call in the next call even though this is fully independent and it's not attached to obj but due to closures it takes the variable it takes the references from its parent scope within its function itself and this is the importance of what i meant by creating an arrow function within a normal function and just passing a reference or invoking it since we created it over here that this reference due to closures is also accessible within this so even if we are declaring this anywhere outside the scope of this obj suppose if we are even calling it in the window object like we are doing here due to closures that this keyword is always going to refer to the dev itself to the dev within the obj because it was created and not just referenced or invoked and so that's why the object or die ended up returning bfe and with that this is all the output is going to return and let's just verify what we have with the actual output so what we have over here is bfe bfe undefined bfe bfe undefined then there's bfe bfe again bfe bfe again and then there's three undefined there's three undefined here as well and then the last one is bfe and here we have bfe as well all right so it seems like we have got the correct output and i hope i did a good job explaining you about everything that's going on in this piece of code i know this was a little complicated for you people but i but i'm also sure that you guys got to learn a lot just by solving this one problem and you can also just copy paste this into the compiler and try to uh, make out different scenarios and try to understand how javascript is working behind the scenes more by yourself as well playing around is going to help you learn a lot in javascript
so with that this is all for the video i'm going to come up with a bunch of similar questions which are going to be tricky and going to help you understand a lot in javascript in general so if you're interested and you enjoyed this video then don't forget to like and subscribe and as usual stay tuned for more